Yeah, the top 40 Tamax commands you need to know. If you don't know who you are, execute who am I. This will tell you your username. To change your password, execute password and set your password. Use mkdir to create a directory. ls to list files and folders in your current directory. Dash l flag to get in a list form. Dash a flag to list hidden stuff. List them in a nice format. Try tree. First install tree. Then execute tree. If you don't know where you are, use pwd. This will print your current working directory. Change your current directory, use cd and specify the directory name you want to go. Go back, use cd dot dot. To go to your home directory, use cd. Touch is the best way to create a file. Touch and specify the file name. You can also create multiple files. Use rm to remove a file. rmdir to remove a directory. Directory not empty, use rm-r flag to remove the directory with all of its files and folders. To install any package, use package install and specify the package you want to start. Searching for a package, use package search and specify the package you are searching for. To list all the available packages, execute package list dash all. To list all the installed packages, execute package list dash install. To remove a package, use package remove and specify the package you want to remove. To print something, use X. You can also save it in a new or existing file. To know the contents inside the file, use cat command and specify the file name. But this will print all the contents at the same time. So better way is to use less. This will print one page at a time. Copy your files, use cp. Specify the file name and where you want to copy it. Use dash r flag to copy a directory. To move a file, use mv. Specify the file name and where you want to move it. Same for directories. If you don't want that no one should read your file content, use thread command. To download a file from the internet, use wget and specify the URL. Another way is to use curl. Curl URL write arrow and give it a name compress a file install zip use zip give name to your file and specify the file you want to compress extract it use unzip and specify the zip file another way to compress is to use tar tar dash g to create an archive set to use gzip and f to specify your file name and the file or folder you want to compress to extract it Use tar dash xzf and specify the file name. To get your system information, use uname dash a. To know about your CPU, execute ls cpu. To know about your termux, execute termux dash info. Give storage access to your termux, execute termux dash setup dash storage. Now you can access your internal or external storage in Termux. Open a URL, use termux open url and specify the URL. This will open only URLs, but what about files? Use termux open for that. Another way is to use xdg open. To backup your termux, use termux backup and specify the output file in tar form. To restore termux from backup file, use termux restore and specify the file from which you want to restore. To reset your termux, use termux reset and Y for yours. To know your free and used storage, use free. To check who is using your memory, use top. To see it in a better way, install stop and execute it. To make a file executable, use change mode plus x and the file name. Now you can execute it. To check the calendar, execute cal. To know the date, execute date. To know your IP address, use ifconfig. Want to sort it, 
use grep if config type grep in it to find something use find command and specify the directory in which you are searching in and dash name and the file name you are searching for to edit a file use nano and specify the file you want to edit now to save it use control x y and enter if you don't know about any command install man then use man and the command you didn't know it will tell you everything about the command another simple way to use what is to know where it is use where is to change your shell use change shell dash s and specify the cell now if you restart termux it's changed want to remotely access termux install open ssh execute sshd now connect to termux with another machine using ssh ssh your username alter it your ip address dash p 8022 accept the fingerprint and enter your password and that's it for the running processes use ps dash aux use kill to kill a process first get the process id then use kill dash 9 to forcefully kill it and in the process id another way is to use pkill best thing about pkill is that you don't need to know the process id just use pkill and dash f flag and specify the process to run termux in background execute termux dash wake dash lock to stop termux from running in background use termux dash wake dash unlock to know your history execute history to get factor of a number use factor and the number to get out of termux exit 